Hi, I'm James Ward, a platform evangelist at Salesforce. I want to give you a quick demonstration of a multi-sensory application that I built to show you a little bit about what multi-sensory applications are all about. In a nutshell, multi-sensory applications are a new way to think about how we build apps that engage with users in whole new ways. And in multi-sensory applications, we have five different senses that our application can use as input into the application. So this is user input, environment, behaviors, device input, and social identity. And then we have six sensory transducers that do something with that data that comes in. So there's storage, analysis, integration, presentation, notification, and learning. When we combine these senses and transducers, we get a nervous system that allows us to build applications that go way beyond the typical CRUD experiences. So what I've done to illustrate a typical multi-sensory application is I've put together a very simple little use case. This use case is, uh, let's say we have a bike rental shop and uh, one of the problems with our bike rentals is that sometimes they go missing and we're not really sure uh, where those bikes end up. And so what we've done is we've, we've built uh, for our bike rental shop a little GPS tracking device that allows us to track our rental bikes. And then when one goes missing, we integrate that data into our business system and our business processes so that we can go follow up and figure out where the last spot that bike was seen at and then hopefully, hopefully go recover that bike. So let's take a look at the device. This is a Raspberry Pi device just running the standard Raspberry Pi system. It has a Wi-Fi USB dongle that allows us to connect with the network. I've also in the past connected these devices with a cellular network instead of a Wi-Fi network. Obviously for this particular use case that would make more sense. We could get a prepaid cellular card and hook it up to the cellular network instead of having to depend on a wireless network. We also have a GPS sensor and then so that this device can be portable I'm using a USB battery pack to provide power to the device. So now let's take a look at my business system that's over in Salesforce. In Salesforce I've customized my objects so that I have my rental bikes. You'll see that I have one rental bike, it's a green 29er and we can see some location data about where that bike is and then we have reservation data so whenever somebody makes a reservation for that rental bike we track that here in our system and cases and the cases will be created automatically when a bike goes missing so let's go create a new reservation so first I'm going to select my rental bike I'll select that green 29er and then I'm going to select a contact for who's actually renting the bike that's Tim Barr Let's select a start time of now, and then this person has reserved it for uh, three hours, so that'll go to 421, and we'll hit save. So now we have an active reservation, and what we're going to do is start now collecting GPS data about this, or about where the bike is for this reservation. So my Raspberry Pi device is now transmitting data about its location to Salesforce. So let's go follow let's go follow Tim as he takes this bike out uh, on a ride. Okay, so I'm going to go pull up the green 29er bike and we'll see that there's Tim. Looks like he's riding in Crested Butte, riding around town. If we refresh this, we can see as new GPS data comes in, we can see him uh, moving out uh, towards the edge of town and heading out to a trail. So now with our business system, if this bike doesn't get a ping from the GPS device uh, in a window of 15 minutes, then we're going to create a support case for somebody to go investigate that bike. So let's wait 20 minutes. All right, we're back and it looks like a case has been created because we haven't heard from the rental bike in 15 minutes. So let's go check out that case. Looks like the renter is Tim Barr and uh, and the bike went missing. So let's uh, let's go check out that bike and, and see if we can figure out uh, where it is. So let's go into the reservation and then we can see he's renting the green 29er. And now we can go pull up that rental bike and see, oh, looks like the last time we heard from it, it was in the middle of Coal Creek. So I think I have a good idea of where that missing bike went. 
we'll go grab it out of there and get it fixed. All right, so that is our simple little demo use case of a multi-sensory application that uses a Raspberry Pi device to track rental bikes and integrate that data with a business process. You can find the code for this whole thing on GitHub. That's at github.com slash multisensory slash bike dash tracks. And there you can also uh, read more about this particular application, the architecture, and the code. There's an article in here that will uh, teach you all about it and walk you through everything. So thanks for watching this demonstration, and uh, have fun building multisensory apps. Thanks.